your hands, yeah, clap your hands, come on, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then I know you wanna show it, so clap your hands like this. Like this.
Stand up, stand up, wherever you are, stand up. Everybody stand to your feet. It's time to push a button. You guys know what button we're about to push? The start button. Go ahead, Pastor Brian. Let's push the start button. It's time to hit the start button. Oh, oh, here we go. Gonna take the stage, gonna start the show. If you're ready, put your hands up. If you're ready, put your hands up. There's a beat, there's a groove, it's a real good song If you're ready, put your hands up If you're ready, put your hands up It's time to hit the start button Everybody here is in the place to be Open up your mind, let your soul be free Feels like the sun is shining down on me Clap your hands on one, shout that on three We're bringing in louder than it was before Like a lion in the jungle, you can hear us roar Hands up, come on, get them high Hands up, cause we feel alive It's time to hit the start button Oh, oh, here we go, we go. Your hands on one shout, let all three. We're bringing in louder than it was before. Like a lion in the jungle, you can hear 
children and you're taking pictures and you're posting them on social media I want you to if you would use the hashtag GT kids SB 17 so GT kids summer blast 17 is what it stands for if you do use Twitter uh, pastor Brian will be showing those on the screens um, at different times but also so that we can use them and take those pictures and use them for different things for videos and stuff like that so use hashtag GT kids SB 17 okay all right how many of you are excited and were here last night and are ready for tonight yeah all right who wasn't here last night but you're glad you're here tonight anybody Woo! all right I'm glad we are going to have so much fun so much fun and so we're gonna get started with a what do you think we're gonna start with a game right so let's see what color is gonna get to play first let's see Sticker. Oh, there's one over there. There's some over here. All right, get your tickets ready. Ticket number two, four, two, five, eight, seven. All right, come on up, Hope. Come on up, Hope. All right, I want you to come stand right back here for me. I want you to stand right here. Can you do that for me? Stand right there. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to have somebody that's going to play against hope. Here we go. Ticket number 242 590. 590. 242 590. Joshua. Momo, Joshua Momo, come on up. All right. All right, and the name of our game is Shoot Out, okay? So you're going to take your gun, you're going to take the yellow one, you're gonna take the blue one, and you're going to shoot. Now you have one bullet here and you have an extra bullet here, and you're going to shoot those at any of these that you choose, the big red one, the small red ones, the smaller white ones, whatever one you wanna do. Once you're done, you can load them back up and you're gonna keep shooting. The first one to knock the most, well, to knock them all off, but you only have a certain amount of time. So if you don't get them done, it's whoever knocks the most off is going to be the winner, okay? Who do you, how many of you think Joshua's gonna win? Yeah? How many of you think Hope is gonna win? Oh, it's gonna be a good game. Let's count down, ready? Three, two, one, go! Thank you. 
craze candy bar. All right, if I can get uh, Mia and Miss Deanne to move the table for me, please. And I am going to. looks really cute but her tricks are not cute okay they are not they're mean just like the devil the devil tricks us sometimes and he tells us don't you want to get a good grade maybe you should cheat just one time but what should we tell the devil no, no right what if the devil says maybe it's okay to tell your mom that you cleaned up your room when you really didn't it's just a little lie what should we tell the devil no, because the devil is a lot like Trixie, and he's up to no good, right? We don't want to be like Trixie, and we don't want to be like the devil. All right, it is game time again, so let's see what color is going to get to play now. Let's see. Red stickers. All right, as I call your, I think I have milk up my nose from Trixie. All right, I'm gonna call a number, and moms and dads and aunts and grandmas and grandpas help me out here. We have ticket number 618593. 618593. 
618593. Peyton! All right, you gotta bring a grown up with you. So, who is your grown up? Who came with you? They're gonna, she's gonna play with you. Say, come on and play, Grandma. Grandma, come on. She's like, come on, Grandma. You're gonna give Grandma this and tell her it's her nose. Can you give that to her and say, here's your nose? Say, here's your nose. Hey, buddy. All right, now we're gonna have somebody else. Let's draw another ticket. Here we go. Ticket number 618596. 618596. All right. All right, so here we go. Here we go. All right. They can, they can help out together. Okay. They can tag team it. It's fine. All right. All right, so here we go. Give this to your mom and tell her that's her nose. That's my nose? Woo, it was clowns last night and elephants this night. So do you guys think these are funny noses? Yeah. I think we're going to make them much more funny. That looks like a better nose. Let's make this one much more funny. Ready? What kind of animal does that look like? right so you are gonna you're very welcome you're gonna feed your elephant okay so you guys can sit down on the ground grandma and mom do you need me to hold you got it okay all right so you can you put this down here put it right down here all right you're gonna take these peanuts and you're gonna stick them up the nose and your goal is to get them all the way here now once they get here you can choose to eat them sure you can choose to eat them or you can take them out and sit them behind you once they get to your mouth that's that's really up to you okay it's up to you if you want to be an elephant eater or not all right so we're gonna count down from three to one she's like hey I want to play yes you're going up once they hit your mouth you can eat them or you know whatever you want to do here we go ready three two one go put them up there we go we got one how many we got over here there we go shake them up there we go we got one two keep going keep going put them, put them up in grandma's nose whoa all the way up look at her elephant nose drop it in drop it in keep going down down they're all gone we got all ten gone there good job I need everybody to focus your eyes on the screen and get ready for tonight's GT Kids Cast. Hello, everybody. It's me, Audrey. Are you guys ready for night two of this carnival? Who's ready for some news and updates from your favorite host? to see if everybody got registered. If you have a green ticket sticker on, stand up. Cool. Now, if you have a blue ticket sticker, come on, stand up. Nice. If you have a red ticket sticker, come on, stand up. And if you have an orange ticket sticker, stand up. Awesome. Now, come on, parents. If you have a purple ticket sticker, I want to see you stand up. Come on, parents. Stand up. Awesome. And remember to stop by the registration tables again tomorrow night. Not only to get another cool sticker, but you'll have more entries to win the grand prize and get tickets for the Midway. Let's see how good of a memory you have. If you remember the verse from last night, stand up and say it with me. It is from Psalms chapter 16. 
I am happy from the inside out and the outside in because you have canceled my ticket to hell. That is not my destination. Are you guys ready for the summer blast joke of the night? Well, here it is. Why did the clown go to the doctor? Because he was feeling funny. <laughs> Tonight's big idea is that Jesus is your ticket to heaven. Did you know there's no other way to get to heaven except through Jesus? You can redeem your ticket by asking Jesus into your heart and believing that he died and rose again. Because he already paid the price for your ticket when he died on the cross. Did you guys enjoy getting a balloon animal last night? Well, there's a chance you can get another, because immediately after the Summer Blast service tomorrow night, we are going to be opening the Midway, where you can get one there and play our awesome games like Skee-Ball, Balloon Darts, and Knock Down the Bottles. We will also be having all sorts of yummy food, like cotton candy, hot dogs, and snow cones. And we'll also be having lots of awesome prizes, like lollipops, fidget spinners, fidget cubes, and limited edition GT Kids Cups. We hope to see you tomorrow night. It's been real, and it's been good. It's been real good. See you tomorrow night, guys. Bye. Let's hope I can remember all this now. I was supposed to say my name or just <laughs> ticket sticker, ticket sticker, ticket sticker. In blue, red, orange, in blue, red, orange, green, blue. Making videos with Miss Audrey is lots of fun, okay? Who's ready to play a game? I'm ready. All right, let's see what color is going to get to go next. with a really good brain. All right, who has a really good brain? Anybody? All right, you gotta use a lot of memory for this game. The first player is four, one, three, five, nine, seven. Four, one, three, five, nine, seven. All right, what is your name, sir? Cole? Cole? Give me five. All right, Cole, let's see who the other one is. You gotta grab the thing to set it up for me. And the other player is ticket four, one, three, five, nine, one. All right, and Jacob, we've got Cole, and we've got Jacob. How old are you, Cole? Seven. Seven. And how old are you, Jacob? Eight. Eight. Okay, so we've got seven, and we've got eight. Now, there's a stack of tickets. Oh, I'll take this one actually from you. There you go. All right, now take those tickets and hold on to them. Don't lose them. All right, and Jacob, do you have your ticket on you? Okay, you hand me that one. Oh, you, if it's in your pocket, it's okay. Okay, thank you. All right, now hold on to those tickets. Now, in just a moment, on the screen, there is going to be some tickets, certain colors in a certain order. So you're going to look at it. You have five seconds to memorize it, and then it's going to disappear. And when it disappears, you're going to drop to your knees, fly open your tickets, and try to put those in the right order. When you think, now it's not, you don't use all of your tickets every time, just some of them each time, trying to trick you up here. So when you have the right answer, you're going to stand to your feet and scream, Carnival Craze! And I will check to see if you're right. Now we have five rounds, so each round is worth one point. If you get three correct, then you would be the winner, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready, Cole? <laughs> Are you super scared? No? All right, are you ready, Jacob? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's look. There it is, do you see it? One, two, three, four, five, it's gone. Drop to your knees and try to put it together. 
See if you can remember it. Let's see, let's see. Carnival craze, all right. Are you ready? Do you think you're right? All right, let's see. Go for it. We've got blue, green, blue, green, and we've got green, blue, green, blue. You were tricking. You added that one. All right, you were super close, but there were five tickets, and you each had four. All right, so no points for the first round. Go ahead and grab all your tickets and pull them back together for me. Yeah, so it was a good job. That was really tricky. All right, here we go. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Ready? Don't start putting them together until we tell you to go. Look at the screen. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! Orange, 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 blue, and orange, 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 green. So one point for Cole. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Grab all your tickets. Pull them back together. Look at the screen. Here we go. Look at the screen. You guys see it? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. We've got red, blue, red, blue, red, and we've got blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, and we've got orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. So no points on that one, but you both did a really good job. That's okay, it's okay. All right, so we're one to zero. We're gonna go one more round. Here we go, last one. Pink, pink, green, orange, orange, go. Let's see, pink, pink, orange, red. And we've got pink, pink, green, orange, orange, pink, pink, green, green, orange. Oh, so close. All right, well, that means you are the winner because you have won and you did a good job. So go ahead and uh, Miss DM will grab up your tickets for you and I am going to give you a prize, okay?
your ticket, you're gonna run up here. And the first person, you're gonna stand behind these red cups. And the second person's gonna stand behind these white cups, okay? Here we go, ticket 626. 592. 626592. 626592. Is that you? Yes, Michael, come on up. Come right behind these red ones, right here. All right, do you want to come right up here? There we go. I will tell you how to play in just one second, okay? All right, I'm going to call the next number here 626590. 626590. Okay, you're going to come stand right behind here for me, okay? All right. So here's how this game is going to work. Now, I'm going to show you one time, and then you're going to do it after that, okay? So you're going to take your cup, and you're going to put it down like this, and put these on top, and put it down, and put them on top, and take one, only one at a time, okay? One at a time, and stack them on top. One, and keep going. And when you get all the way done you'll have a different color on the top. And that's how we'll know you're the winner, okay? So if you get the white cup to the top first, you win. And if you get the red cup to the top first, you win, okay? Are you guys ready? Are you ready, Michael? Yes, are you ready, Gabe? Okay, here we go. Ready? Three. What is it? Oh, yes, you can kneel down for your cups. All right, ready? Three. so much cotton candy. Do you like pink or blue cotton candy better? Pink? The pink is really, really, really good. I have some pink cotton candy up here. Doesn't look so pretty. It does. It looks, it's all like shiny and sugary. Does it look good? Miss Stephanie, does this look good to you? It does look so good. You know, I got a, a Bible verse to tell you about. You know, the Bible tells us that the, the devil is the father of lies. That means he makes up all the lies. How many's ever heard a lie? You ever heard one? How many's ever told one? I 
think we've all probably done that before, haven't we? You know, every lie that you've ever heard and every, shh, real quiet, every lie that you've ever heard and every lie that you've ever told, who made them up? It comes from where? The devil. The devil wants you to tell lies and he likes to hear lies going around the world. That's why we hear so much of them. He's good at it. Just like Trixie. Trixie told lies. She says she doesn't tell lies, doesn't she? She said that was a really good cookie and then she had bugs in it. Ugh, that's yucky, isn't it? That's not the truth, but the devil wants us to think the things that he tells us are true. Cot Real cotton candy is good. You know, the devil likes to imitate everything that God does good. The devil likes to make a fake of it. Okay, so when you like to dance and shout, God wants us to dance and scream and get happy for him. But the devil wants us to do it in a weird way, in a way that doesn't glorify God. That's his fake. You know, the devil wants us to take drugs because that hurts our bodies. And God wants us to be healthy and strong so we can live good, happy lives. So everything you can think of, the devil will make a fake of it. Now, this cotton candy looks beautiful. But if I was to eat this, Cotton candy. Can you touch this for me? What does that feel like? It feels like, like wrapping. Yes, like wrapping. And so if I was to eat this, it's like material. Feel that. Would that taste very good? You want to taste it? No. <laughs> you don't want to taste it. Because it wouldn't be very good. And I, my stomach would be hurting. I couldn't digest this. It's really crunchy and ugh. But it looks really good, right? And so the devil, he's very good at telling us, Oh, if you do that one time, if you tell that lie one time, it won't hurt you. But if I took even one bite of this, would it hurt me? Yes. And so we have to remember what the Bible tells us about the devil. He is the maker of all the lies. And it says there is no truth in him. No truth. That means he can never, ever, ever, ever tell you the truth, ever. But God is is truth. So that means he can never, ever, 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 ever tell a lie. So the more you know about God, the more you can get the good things and get real cotton candy that's really good. And the more you get to know him, the better and better and better and better and better and better it'll be. So no fake for us, right? No, we just want the real stuff. That's right. Yes. I do have some good news. Who's coming tomorrow? Let me see. You get real cotton candy tomorrow, okay? Everybody, everybody gets real cotton candy tomorrow, and that is going to be very, very yummy. A lot better than that stuff that you had up here, right? All right, well, we are going to play. It's time for, like, my favorite game ever. It's Color War Game! All right, so I'm going to draw some tickets from every box or bucket. And if I call you up, you're going to come. And I want you right now just to come stand right up here, okay? You don't need to come on the stage yet. You're just going to come stand right up here, okay? So I'm first going to call green. Let's see who's going to represent green, okay? Representing green is 242-586. 242-586. Come on up. Is your name Ella? All right, Ella, come on up here. All right, now let's do the blue. Who's going to represent the blue? All right. Yeah, just stand right there for now. All right. Ticket number 413-593. All right, Cadence, come on up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. All right. Ticket number six, two, six, five, eight, five, five, eight, five. That's you, all right. You're gonna stand right behind the orange one, right over there. Good, good, good job. Okay, let's see here. We've got red left, right? Okay, and for the red, we have ticket 618-592. Come on up, 618-592. Come on. Come on up here. All right, Miss Deanne's going to help you out. You're going to stand right over here by the red, okay? Right over here. All right. 
So what you're gonna do is we're gonna start on one side and we're gonna give each of you a turn and we're gonna keep letting you have turns. You're gonna roll a dice and how many ever number, whatever number it lands on, you're gonna move that many squares on your board. And the first one to get to the last square is the winner, okay? All right, who thinks the blue team's gonna win? Who thinks green? Ooh. Who thinks orange? Careful, buddy. All right, and who thinks red? All right, go ahead. You're gonna start off, so you roll. And you got a, ooh, it's still going, it's still going, a three. So you're gonna move three spaces. One, two, three, very good. All right, here we go. Go ahead and roll. Yours is still going, still going. Whoa, whoa, it's going crazy. Six, good job. A number six. All right. You are on your sixth square. Here we go. Riley. All right. Woo, you got a six too. So that's your first one, second one, third one, fourth one, five one, sixth one right there. Good job. All right, ready?
my life You gave me a new start You gave me a new style You changed my life It's all because of you All because of you You make me smile You gave me a new heart Gave me a new heart You make me smile It's all because of you All because of you All because of you Right? Kaden. 
Caden. All right, Caden. You're going to stand behind you like red, yellow or red better? Which one? Yellow? Okay, you stay right there. And let's see. Who is going to go against you is ticket number 626. Five, eight, two. Six, two, six, five, eight, two. It is Preston. It is Preston. Come on up, Preston. All right. So before you can dance, we need to get you looking like a clown. Are you ready? Who wants to see Preston as a clown? Woo! Man, what a handsome clown you are. Woo! All right, Kaden, you want to be a clown? Let's get you some clown hair. Woo! Handsome. And we're going to get you a red nose. Look at these clowns, right? Now you are about to have a dance off. You cannot use your hands, only your body. And you got to dance, jump, move, do whatever you want, but the hair and the nose have to come off. Can't use your hands, only your dancing. All right, are you ready to dance off? Three, two, one, dance! Oh, we lost some hair over here! Dance that nose off! Whoa, oh, oh, goodness! Woo, keep going! Ah, all right, good job! Woo! That was awesome, awesome moves! I tell you what, I think both of you deserve a candy bar for that one. That was pretty amazing.
Nobody likes to verse Jeremiah, right? Right, okay. Let's see who the daring competitor is going to be. I, I meant that in a good way. He's a really good game player is what I meant by that, by the way. Two, four, two, five, nine, one. Two, four, two, five, nine, one. Two, four, two, five, nine, one. All right. Ma'am. All right. So what I'm going to have you guys do in just a second, you're going to build. Now you can start with one or two cups, but you have to alternate. So if you do one cup, then you add a plate, then you're gonna do two cups. Plate, one cup, plate, two cups, plate, one cup. Or you can start either way. So two, one, two, one, two, one, or one, two, one, two, whichever way you want. You can stack your cups this way or this way, whatever way you want. But you have a minute, we're gonna be stacking. When we count down from 10 to one, you're gonna have to stop. It has to be able to stand there, okay? So you can't hold it with your hand. It has to be able to stand on its own. All right, you guys ready? Who thinks Maya's gonna win? Ooh. Who thinks Jeremiah's gonna win? All right, here we go. Girl versus boy on the Carnival Builder Challenge. Three, two, one, go! Go, 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 go!
something else to do. And so I want everybody to be really quiet, super quiet for just a moment. Hey, I said be really quiet. Summer blast. Yes, okay, all right, here we go. We have some really exciting news. Let's see. wanted to play this game because it was kind of like a tricksy game and we tried to make you go all the way up that hill and it was really hard but tonight we're gonna play this game and you're gonna go from here to here so it might be a little bit easier but it's still gonna be kind of tricky okay so what you're gonna do is you can sit on your bottom or on your knees okay and you can't use your hands except for holding on to those plungers you're gonna use those plungers to move yourself all the way from over here to Miss Deanne and if Emily you tag Miss Deanne first you win first place. And Haley, if you tag Miss Deanne first, you win first place. Do you understand how to play? All right, everybody give it up for Emily. All right, go take one. Go take a seat on there. Everybody give it up for Haley. All right, you go take a seat on the other one. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Thank you very 
job. All right. Do a ticket? No. Do you have a ticket? No. to the midway but something really more important than the midway is coming up do you guys know what it is it's called heaven everybody say heaven Yay! and did you know that you have to have a ticket to get to heaven did you know that do you guys think it's a yellow ticket a blue ticket a red ticket a green ticket Hmm, do you guys know what the ticket is? What is it? Jesus, right? Jesus is your ticket to heaven. And that is our big idea for the night. So I want everybody to say, Jesus, Jesus is your ticket, is your ticket to, heaven. to heaven. 
All right. The Bible says in John chapter 14 and verse 6, it says, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And nobody can come to the Father except through him. There's no other way to talk to God. There's no other way to go to heaven. There's no other way unless you have the ticket. And the ticket is Jesus. And the ticket was not free. Okay, everybody be real quiet for just a moment. Okay, be real quiet. Shh. Look up here for just a moment. The ticket was not free. Okay, it had to cost money. Do you think you have enough money to buy a ticket to heaven? Do you think so? You think you have enough money? Ooh, you do? What about you? Do you think you have enough money to buy a ticket to heaven? Do you want to know something? There's not enough money to buy a ticket to heaven. Well, if you have to buy a ticket and you don't have enough money to buy it, it's a really awesome thing. How many of you have wanted something really bad and somebody bought it for you? Anybody? Has that ever happened? You wanted something super bad and somebody bought it for you? Yes. Well, I wanted something pretty bad this week, and somebody bought something for me, and I was super, super excited about it, and I was screaming, and I scared everybody that was around me. Did you know that? That really happened. So here, here's something really exciting. You don't have enough money to buy your ticket to heaven, but there's a really awesome thing, and God knew that you wouldn't have enough money to buy it. You can't be good enough for it, so he knew the only way is if Jesus paid for it. And he had to pay for it with his life. That is very expensive. Somebody say, that's a lot. That's a lot. Jesus died. What did he die on? Does anybody know? The cross. Jesus died on the cross. Very good. It wasn't a real fun thing to do, and it didn't look pretty. Like sometimes we see a, like a pretty cross that was like gold or silver or in a picture. It was a really, really, really ugly cross. And he died, and his blood is what pays for us to go to heaven. And now we get to have a ticket. And all we have to do is walk over and claim it. How many of you last night came to the front and said, I want Jesus in my heart? Do you know that means you already have your ticket? Isn't that exciting? When those angels threw a party for you, God gave you a ticket. And now you get to go to heaven. All right, well, I'm going to tell you guys a story, like how Jesus told stories. Remember, we talked about that. I'm going to have a couple people come up, and we're going to tell a story. <coughs> we're going to tell a story. And I need you guys to be real quiet and listen to the story. Once upon a time, there was a girl, and she was a very good girl. Everybody say, good girl. Good girl. And she had Jesus in her heart, and she had a ticket to heaven. Everybody say, woohoo! <laughs> then there was a not so good girl. Everybody say, bad girl. You know why she was bad? She didn't have Jesus in her heart. She was letting Trixie play lots of tricks on her, okay? And she was not living for Jesus. And instead of just going and getting a ticket to heaven from Jesus and saying, come into my life, she thought, hmm, maybe I could steal a ticket. Uh-oh. What is she doing? She's cutting part of her ticket. <gasps> was that very good? No. no, that was not good. And so she looks at those pieces of her ticket and she thought, if I get to heaven, I don't know if Jesus is going to let me in with just that much ticket. So maybe I should go steal some more. And so let's see what happens. Is she giving away her ticket? No, she is holding tight to that ticket. Everybody say, hold tight to Jesus. Hold tight to Jesus. She is not letting it go. And so what do you think is going to happen when the bad girl gets to heaven and she gets to the gate and the angel looks at her tickets? What do you think is going to happen with that? Do you guys think that she's going to get to go into heaven? No. But she has pieces of a ticket, right? Did she have pieces of a ticket? Yeah. Hmm. Did she ask Jesus into her heart? No. So how are they going to know if it's a real ticket? Do you know? No? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. What happens with her ticket? 
I need somebody that knows how to read. Anybody know how to read? You know how to read? I'll take you and you and you. I'll take all three of you. Come up here and tell me what this says right here on this, right here. <gasps> Yikes. What does that spell? Hell. hell. It spells hell. That's what her ticket spells, doesn't it? Ooh, that's not very good. You guys can go back and sit down. Thanks for reading that for me. How many of you, when you get to heaven, want to read that ticket? No. But I am, let's say it with me, happy from the inside out and the outside in because you canceled my ticket to hell. That is not my destination. Can Marissa enter? No. No, she can't. She has to leave. What do you think is going to happen over here? Do you think so? But part of her ticket is missing. What's going to happen? Let's see. Let's see what happens to her ticket. <gasps> what is that? What is it? It's a cross. Nicole is happy. Let's say it all together. Stand up. Nicole is happy. We are happy from the inside out and the outside in because you canceled my ticket to hell. That is not my destination. Woo. Yeah. All right. You guys can sit back down. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to read to you one more verse from the Bible, and it's in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. And this is what it says. It says that God, oh, we're almost done. We have another game to play, so let's be real quiet. God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It's a gift from God. You can't say, I was super good, and so I get to go to heaven. You can't say, I am super pretty, and so I get to go to heaven. We can't even say, my mom and dad go to church, so I get to go to heaven. We can't say, hmm, maybe if I do something super special, and Pastor Brian, or Pastor Danae, or Pastor Anthony sees me, then I get to go to heaven doesn't work that way. It's only by God's grace. When we ask Jesus to save us, then that's how we get a ticket to heaven. And we want to share Jesus, not by giving somebody our ticket. We got to hold on tight to that ticket. But we can tell other people, can't we? We can tell other people about that. And we can ask other people to get saved and to get their ticket. How many of you have somebody you know that doesn't have Jesus for their ticket? Does anybody know that? Maybe it's somebody in your family, or maybe well, a neighbor, or a friend at school. That's really sad, isn't it? Do you want them to go to hell? No. Does anybody in here want to go to hell? No, that is not our destination. And we don't want that for our friends, right? And so I want you guys to think of somebody. Hmm, let's, let's do our thinking caps. Hmm, everybody do this. Hmm, let's think of somebody we know that doesn't have Jesus in their hearts. Can you think of somebody? All right, when you're thinking of somebody, I want you to stand up, right? Just stay where you are. But when you're thinking of somebody, I want you to stand up. Somebody you know that doesn't have Jesus. Hmm. All right. Now, every one of you that's standing, I want you to raise your hand really high. All right? And we're all going to pray together. I want you to think of that person. And when I pray, I want you to pray with me. I'm going to say words, and you're going to say words. And then I want, when I say, say their name, I want you to yell their name out really loud, okay? All right, here we go. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I, thank you I thank you that I have a ticket, have a ticket to, heaven. to heaven. But I, but I want, to go there want to go there with... Now yell their name out really loud. So, I want you to save their soul. So they can get a ticket and go with me. In Jesus' name, amen.
All right, you can sit down. Now, it's very important. I'm glad you prayed tonight for that person, whoever it was, okay? But it's very important that you pray every single day for them, whoever it was. If it was your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister or your friend from school or your neighbor, whoever it was, I want you to pray every day. Can you do that? Hmm. Can you pray every day for that person? Hmm, let's try that one more time. Can you pray every day for that person? Yes. yes, we can pray every day. We can pray every day for those people so that they can get saved and go to heaven with us. All right, we have another game to play. All right, so Pastor Brian, let's see who's going to play this game. <laughs> do this one at the end. I switched it. I'm sorry. All right. We are going to play a game with our families called Popcorn Pass. And we got a lot of families here tonight. All right. So if I call your family's name, you guys are going to come up here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to call two families to play this game with me. All right. The first one is the Gray family. Is the Gray family here? Nope, they left? Okay, hold on. Nope, let's see. Let me see. I need a parent. What about Jaxa? Jaxa, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, come on, Teresa. Come on up here. We got a grown up, so you're good. All right, here we go. Yes. All right. And let's see, the other family playing is the Coats. All right? All right, come on up, Coats. Here we go. Come on up, come on up. All right? Yes. All right, so I need you guys to talk, okay, to each other. And I need you to get one more player. They're going to have three people on their team. And you need three people on your team, too. So you talk to each other. And you get one more person to talk to each other. Alright, Hayden is going to be in your family. So here's what you're going to do. Alright? Grown-ups are going to 
Okay, here we go. Everybody do this. And the winner is Joshua Momo. All right. Oh, that was a trick. All right, congratulations. You are now the owner of a fire orange tablet. All right? All right. If you go to the back and let Pastor Anthony take your picture, that would be really good. two thes. I'm happy from the, I'm happy from the, yes. Uh, 
There you go, there you go. I'm happy from the, yep, I'm happy from the inside out. You got it, you got it. Keep going, keep going, you guys are doing good. And from the, yes, happy from the inside out and from the outside, happy from the inside out and from the outside. And you cancel my ticket. Let me see. I'm happy from the inside out and from the outside in. You cancel my ticket to hell. That's not my destination. Woo! Good job. Nicely done. Come on over here. Let me give you a prize. Very, very good. Good job. All right, Elijah, grab you a couple pieces from there, okay? All right, very good. Good job. Give him a round of applause. All right. How many of you had a great night? Yes. How many of you are super excited for tomorrow? All right. I will see you guys tomorrow night at what time? Six o'clock. Okay. Have a great night, everybody. Have a great night.